Good morning. Welcome back to MLB Central. Joel Sherman, Mark DeRosa, and Robert Flores. We're going round the bases, and this was a tough break, literally, figuratively, for Josh Young and the Texas Rangers. He suffers a fractured wrist as he's get got hit on that wrist by Phil Maton. Uh, Adolis Garcia, the batter prior to Josh Young, also got hit almost in the same area, but it looks like he's okay. Josh Young, guys, for the second consecutive year, has kind of a flukish injury. You saw the one yeah. last night, and then remember last season, on a line drive, when he's playing the field, he fractured his thumb. So what are the Rangers? The Rangers were obviously able to cover it last season. What about this year, Jiro? I think it's more of the same, right? They got Ezekiel Duran and Josh Smith in what trade? The Joey Gallo? Joey Gallo yeah. move. I think they can cover. I, I just feel bad for Josh he Young. Should. He, he has should. been snake bitten by these kind of strange injuries. He had four injuries. RBIs last night, too. Oh, he took a Ryan Pepio changeup early yeah. in that game for a three-run bomb. They had him mic'd up on ESPN playing third base the other day mm -hmm. with Eduardo Perez and Carl Ravitch and those guys, and he was just so personable. He's fielding ground balls, coming acro across the grass, just like living his living his best life. Yeah. So for this to happen, talented kid, talented kid. But yeah, and obviously it felt, they cover. It. He felt like he began to do the breakout last year, and he was going to get to the complete level this year of that breakout. So it's sad for him. Just thinking about it, big picture, uh, D Row. Their offense, one to nine, looked like it might be the best lineup yep. in the sport if you believed yep. in Langford, if you believed in Carter. Right now, they're without Lowe. Now, they're not going to be with Young for a while. And they need the lineup because the lineup is kind of the NCAA tournament survive in advance the until you get back to Grom, Scherzer, Molly. Yeah. So, like, at anything that chips away at now, I still expect that lineup to, with Adalis and Seeger, you know, uh, Simeon, et cetera, to be strong. But it was, I thought it was going to be the best if it stayed healthy. Yeah, I think the whole the, the belief of teams now is just get me in. The division yep. title is not just get into like the tournament. at all costs. Yep. Especially since the Rangers didn't lose a game on the road last year. Yep. The just get into the yeah. tournament. Let's check out uh, this tweet here from uh, Alex Pavlovich, who covers the San Francisco Giants for NBC Sports Bay Area. Blake Snell will make his Giants debut next Monday. Webb, Harrison, Hicks, who's got the home opener, that's Jordan Hicks, the next three games. Snell will throw one last sim game this week. d -Row, I think you touched on it. Uh, the Giants. I'm bullish they, on the Giants. They kind of get lost, of obviously, in that division. You got the Dodgers. You got the D-backs, who are the defending National League pennant winners. But the Giants, they've got something there, potentially. They got, they've already got something with a the rotation. Then you throw Snell in there. And they're going to get Robbie Ray back, That's potentially, right. in the second half. Alex, Alex Cobb. Cobb. Soon. They have a chance to have arguably the best rotation in the National League. Maybe all of baseball if Kyle Harrison takes a step forward. They're going to have to win all their bullpen is going to have to be locked down for them because they're going to have to win all the games they got the lead late because this pitching staff is going to give them a chance. I've had my eyeballs on this team. Obviously, a lot of things fell in their lap, but they have a nice little lineup. Michael Conforto's gotten off to a great start. Jung Ho Lee looks the part. Matt Chapman's gotten off to a nice start. Yeah. I think as the summer progresses, this team's going to lean on you with a rotation and a nice ballpark to play in. Robbie Ray's, that, that's an interesting option to kind of have in your back pocket. But keep in mind, he's going to have missed most of the last two seasons. He's yeah. not expected back until about August. So let's, let's see what they yeah. get in him. Cobb is much more realistic. They're getting Snell. What interests me is if all the late movement, personnel-wise, fell their way, huh? Well, but it also went to teams you think could be in the NL wildcard hunt. Right? Bellinger goes to the Cubs. Bobby. Cease goes to the Padres. Chapman and Snell here. Montgomery to Arizona. J.D. Martinez to the Mets. All the late movement went to that group of teams. Yeah. And, like, if you feel the National League is a little bit like Braves, Dodgers, Phillies. Yeah. That means someone's going to win the Central. There's two wild card spots left. And there's a kind of... LIE at rush hour to yeah. appeal to it. The rest of America, that's a very busy highway here. Uh, yeah. And and can you subtly to the point the Giants added two pieces uh, late here. They might get Ray for the like better part of the second half. They should get Cobb back soon. It's sensitive enough win loss wise that you could impact if you get in or not. And I find it interesting that this late movement all went to NL teams in that bucket. Yeah, razor thin margin between those uh, teams that you mentioned.